Hello, I'm Colonel Thomas Bunt, Commander Madigan Army Medical Center. I'm accompanied here by Dr. Paul Fastell. He's the Acting Preventive Medicine Department Chief. And Dr. Fastell, let's talk a little bit about COVID-19 uh, mitigation when it comes to face masks. We get a lot of questions on patients uh, and beneficiaries and basically the, the common populace in terms of should they be wearing face masks during the COVID-19 outbreak. Mm -hmm. So at this point, sir, what we're recommending is those individuals who do not have symptoms uh, really should not be wearing face masks. And those symptoms really involve fever, cough. Those are symptoms that really um, are we're looking for. And so if you're not having those symptoms, really face masks are not felt to be uh, that helpful. They don't protect against the COVID-19. Right, right. I think getting back to the basics here, getting back to more hand washing, less face touching, really can be helpful to, uh, to prevent the spread of this condition. So face masks are really just for people who are not having symptoms, right. not having fever, not having cough, those are reasons where you know, there's really no need to, to be wearing a face mask at this point. So as some thought, right, and it's been uh, cold in the mornings around here for those of us who enjoy running outside. <laughs> And I developed a little bit of a cough from uh, early morning's runs. Would that be a rationale, for, say my immune system might be a little bit down based on that, to wear a face mask, or would that be clinically indicated? I don't think so, I don't think so. Really getting back to, if you're acutely symptomatic, right. perhaps you had some upper respiratory irritation from the run this morning, Maybe. but I, I think that um, unless you're having a significant symptoms of cough, uh, then you really don't need to be wearing a face mask um, upon entry to the facility or out in public. So if I was sick, for example, and I came to the clinic and I needed a face mask and I presented at the desk and said I had cold or I had flu-like symptoms, would I be able to get a face mask there while I'm at the facility? You bet. You bet, sir. So Madigan stands ready to, to respond to this, this issue of COVID-19 and certainly a face mask is one of the first steps that Madigan personnel will be providing to symptomatic people, putting that face mask onto that patient to minimize spread to others. Would you recommend hanging on to that face mask for a long period of time, or when would you think that that face mask would need to be discarded? It can be used for a length of time, sir. So CDC, for the N95 masks, for instance, for healthcare workers, mm -hmm. that can be used up to eight hours okay. uh, of continuous or intermittent use. So the N95 mask. For this, these types of masks for patients to be wearing, certainly, as long as they're not soiled or visibly contaminated, they can be reused for, for, for this purpose of just minimizing spread to others, if, once again, if they're right. having symptoms. Right. Dr. Fastell, that's great information. I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to have this interview, and also for all the work you're doing to protect our service members and our community. You're welcome. Care, Care with, with compassion. compassion.